These are eight of my friends, and they will be battling in this arena for the chance to win 100 ringgit and the opportunity to donate it to whatever charity they want. I gave them no guidance whatsoever. They could make allies, make enemies, or strive to the top. Make sure you get ready for the second annual Hunger Games. Hello and welcome to the second rendition of my Minecraft Hunger Games. A yearly series where I throw my friends into an arena and expect them to fight, with certain challenges ready to tackle them and a set prize pool. We've got a glorious specially built map, some very aggressive mobs with distinguishing abilities, and some overpowered loot ranging towards the most overpowered potion in the game. If you are new, don't worry, as let's cover the tributes of this year's Hunger Games. Introducing George, a new tribute to this Hunger Games, a fan favorite among this channel, and a highly skilled Skywars player, wreaking not just high amounts of endurance, but high amounts of skill to battle enemies. He's going alone in this Hunger Games, but let's see how he'll do later on. Moving on, we have Isaac, a passionate redstoner with a highly confident exterior. He drives with passion with his mechanical interests, having the brains to do so as a younger tribute. Similarly, next we have Lucas, twin brother of Isaac and as equal of a threat, who instead has significant experience of the Nintendo and his allies with Isabel, the youngest tribute, aka my hyper young sister, who probably takes too much ice cream. Next, we have Hannah, a decent builder with good stats overall across the board. She has skills backed up to traverse and defend from any sort of threat. She is also apparently allying with Isaac. And next, we have Krish, an active pyromaniac who likes to blow up is terrible at making jokes, and also likes to commit arson. Knock knock. Who's there? Water. Water who? What a dumbo you are for opening the door. Introducing the crowned winner of the previous Hunger Games, Michael. Skilled at Minecraft combat, especially with the bow, has showcased his unchallenged power output in the last Hunger Games. So, when it comes to your skills, what do you normally specialize in? Um, I do specialize in PvP, but, I am, but I'm also very good with my Minecraft knowledge. Is there um, anything else you would like to tell the viewers? Um, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's that, uh, you are a massive scammer, and, uh, yes. <laughs> well, next, we have a tribute that came out of nowhere emerging quietly from the shadows. And that is Shankra. Who are your presumed allies in the arena? My presumed allies are number one, Michael, and number two, Michael. Okay, good to know. What is your best skill particularly? My best skill is PvP. Obviously, yep. Can I 1v1 you in Minecraft? Sure, let's run in Qcraft. Dude, you're going down. For what seems like a regular tribute, is quickly flushed away, shown by his skill and prowess. Moreover, to the horror of the others, his created alliance with Michael could turn the tide significantly. These tributes look calm on the outside, but will be ruthless in the arena. Now that we've gone over all of our tributes, it's time to see how they'll fare in the bloodbath.
After the death of three of our tributes, it was now time that the players started realizing that they needed to charge up and get better gear. As the players roamed the arena, it was apparent that new, temporary alliances were formed. For it being a pairing of George and Chris, previously bumping into each other, agreed for a short-term truce and to protect themselves for the meantime. The same couldn't be said for the rest, or for the most part, Michael and Shankara, who were on literal opposite sides of the arena. There was small possibility they split up, but for the most part, it wouldn't be likely for a while. The sun setting down was the end of the quick first day. As the evening clouds parted, as tributes thought things were calming down, it was only about to ramp up. Nighttime was the time that things would get the worst, and for this case, for the dead to start crawling out of their grave. Starting off, the zombie event. After the death of Hannah, Michael hiked across the treacherous forest, unfortunately getting caught in the crossfire. Michael, you need to run. <laughs> no way Michael dies. No way Michael dies. Hit after hit, chomp after chomp. Michael, the vines. Oh the vines. The vines. Oh he was nearing death. But with a bit of luck and some additional golden apples, he luckily escaped alive. <laughs> Moving back onto the supposed alliance with George and Krish, the alliance out of a sudden was disbanded. After both of them got into a fight, it led the group to disband and for both of them to disconnect ties. But this was a highly fatal mistake. Because out of a sudden, Michael came out of nowhere and took advantage of this predicament by offering a new alliance with Chris for the purpose to take down George. Chris promptly accepted the deal as the old allies of the first Hunger Games had been temporarily reunited. George lurking in the background wasn't a big fan of this new tree as he managed to eavesdrop as he hid in one of the mushrooms scared of assassination. But someone was coming, and that was Krish, who roamed closer and closer. Possibly not realizing it, he'd passed George and weirdly kept running in the same direction. Eventually, it would be soon enough for Michael to realize, causing a two-pronged attack, attracting Shankara in the mix. They ruthlessly pushed him in the forest. What the heck? Scared, huh? Scared? That's the sound of death. Going towards Krish, it was finally revealed what he was doing. He was hiding. He was scared for the fact that it was left to a coin flip. It was left to who would Michael choose? Would he stick with his alliance with Shankara? Or would he join Krish, his old ally, who he'd shed many memories with in the past? Was he willing to work with him? Or did he have what it takes to take on Shankara? Anyway, 
As the sun rose, it was time for an ending duel. Both skilled contenders, fighting for the spot of victory. Shankar had shown that he has the power output and strength to bring up a really hard fight. While Michael has showcased strategy and decisive thinking to fool and outsmart opponents. This is an interesting matchup for sure, but how is Michael going to respond? Time can never be your trusted friend or your sworn ally. No, it's the harshest mistress of all. And life is just a chain of moments spent, a thousand hellos and Maybe a love like ours can leave out its call I will keep you near Until the world is and you Big thanks for everyone who was involved in this video and a big congratulations to Michael for winning this year's Hunger Games. That's 100 ringgit to Team C's. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as this was a big project of mine and I will see you next time.